what is up YouTube it's Egal Gomo I'm part of two grinders what we like to do is show everybody ways to you know do things in video games with certain teams we have I'm gonna actually show you my 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 box my collection of digis if you will um let's start with the ones I currently have because I like I sell a lot or I use them for upgrade or fusing material so let's just go ahead and show you what I have right now. This is one. He's actually part of my main team too. This is my team leader. The War Grayman. He's almost max level, but I'm showing you this because I will be doing an Omnimon video. I will show how to fuse and all the digivolution techniques. And, li and limit break once we get him max. Yes, that's my prize. That's one of my prize babies. I still have yet to see what he does, but I think he's used for fusion or something of the kind. We'll find out later. We have Seraphimon. And Doruma. Now, anything, any character you see, right? You see that little lock right here? That's right there near the X button. You can lock characters, even if you, like, uh, the only characters I have locked are characters that either can't evolve anymore, or I haven't been able to find in a normal map. And they, they pop up random. Some, some DJs like the Doraemon pops up at random. But there's no set stage to find them, so I just lock them because it's my only version of it. And these Kalbateri Muns are all going to be sold. So anything that doesn't have a lock on it, or has that star with a number on it, is basically something that I'm not using. Because you can you can find the later forms of all of these Digis. Honestly, you can find them by the time you reach the next area. Like Grey Muns, and you find Grey Muns now, you can find Skull Grey Muns, Wegu, Black Wegu Muns, you can find all of these just as you progress through the story so a hint for all of you do not evolve your don't evolve certain digits because you can again find their later stronger forms somewhere else in the game I don't know if you like if you naturally evolve them would they have better stats I'll actually do some research on that and, and let y'all know but as far as I can tell, I see no difference. They're going to go back to level 1 when you evolve them. You have to get the max level and do another evolution. The only good thing about evolving certain ones is they have multiple forms. Yeah, I got this Neptune from a friend point called. You can actually see it in the video. It's really strong during one of the seasons. And I have him up. Now, as you look, he has a Digivolve button. The only reason why I locked this one specifically is because he turns into Black Seraphimon. And I don't know if you find those yet, so I locked him just in case you don't. So I can evolve into Black Seraphimon myself. Yes. Um, a Lopmon. This is an armor. You know. I got the boss of the stage by doing this. I had to defeat a boss. Death Merriman or Skull Merriman, as you know him from Digimon Masters Online. And I got him from the event, which I beat yesterday just in time. So they came out with the new Soul Use of God. Yes. And he, he drops this item right? a fragment of darkness. You need to combine five of these to turn it into, let me show you, a grain of darkness. Which you need this, so you can evolve a thing called, you know, let me show you. You need basically to collect those, so that when you evolve him into the bottom, the bottom one, you use those to evolve him into, I guess, something else. You can transcend him. Which, actually, I wish I would have started the um, game earlier on this account. I would have definitely have beaten it and shown you guys that. But, let's go on to this one. Which is 
my god, one of the Olympus 7. Amazing stats. Every stat is 317 and up. Just the way. And he goes to 60, so. I really love, I really love that. Amazing dark play. So yeah. And an all dark team, he is what you want. Because if you look at his ability, only purple card, only purple dark cards would appear. Like on the next, um, when it says next and you them cards, they all turn to purple. So he is really built for a, a dark team. And that is my box, guys. So I'll see you guys later, I guess. I'm gonna do another video for you guys showing you how the digivolution process works. We're gonna, I'm gonna actually probably even digivolve something for you guys. So, later.